um, if everything is working because uh, I heard a little error screen pop up and uh, I forgot to put off some settings after all but all in all we are live now and everything is looking good let me go over to dam side I'll say DM and dam from now on because uh, if I have to repeat those German names I'm not confused them after a while um, Damn, looking f with uh, three inf, three calf, and two archers. We're doing the rocks, rock um, strategy here, and this is good because they have both left flag and right flag, and they can push straight ahead. So everything is like very distant, uh, or like it's the closest point to all flags, as they do not want to charge past those, uh, past this wall you can see on my mini map. And uh, DM looking to do it with two infantry, four calf and two archers. This means one inf and one archer are gonna be paired up, and this is gonna be Altor and Cheeseman together. And let me find the other ones. Vaporeon, which is a Pokemon, I believe. And uh, back to basics. Who's actually got some pretty decent infantry skills, as I know from playing in public with them. So uh, it's beyond basics nowadays, he should change his name. Back to advanced techniques or so. They're both kind of camping for the flag. As you can see, uh, the flag has spawned on the right side of TM. And this is not the favorite side of them because they were setting up on the left side, kinda. So let's see how they engage. There's a, there's a calf uh, already having the first fight right here as they try to charge Meister Dudo and Knork. And uh, Veril tries to go in. Lutheran comes nicely from around the corner. And uh, Vini the Pooh gets dismounted and is trying to hold on here with uh, Dudu. Meanwhile, the other DM, the other pair, has gone to the flag. So they're gonna leave Dudu behind, I believe, as he's not a priority right now. And this is a very good call from that DM. Well, hold on, Slow is going for him, but Dudu should be moving up. Dot single in a very good archer position right now. Vaporeon shooting it from the tower area. Cheeseman also very well set up. Shoots his own teammate down, like his horse down there. Um, the yeah, trying to hold the flag and they succeed so, but they still have uh, the archer. Oh no, he's gone. I thought they had the archer up there. Oh yeah, there he is, Dot single. Um, right here, harassment on Delta. As two calf and an, and an archer are fighting. Delta getting a nice kill, but gets taken down by uh, Leonimo strongest. That leaves us to another archer who is hiding back here. Being suppressed here by Feral. But Feral are low on health. Dot Signal gets a shot correctly. The flag is all the way up but it's bugging out and DM uh, yeah, we have one nonetheless they just have to stay alive because the round is now over very well played from both teams and uh, DM got the luck this time because the flag spawned on the side that DM wasn't covering which was uh, middle and right and spawned on the left so chances were low but a chance is a chance and it worked against them Um, nothing's changed in setup, I believe. But something's changed in strategy. As Dam pushes to the left side this time altogether with the ground force. Having one calf on the right there just to have, um, well, just to let them know that they're not all going towards this direction. Because if you do that, Without the presence of the cow on the right side, the other team might figure out that everyone's on the left so they can take more of the map control. Dam here, Dudu, shooting uh, Vimporion, who has been an archer on the DM side. So this leaves one more archer 
uh, called Cheeseman for the DMs and he will have to make the shots alone so a lot of pressure is on him right now and uh, back to basics and Rand, Rand uh, L4 they, they will have to camp the flag and uh, they will have to fight in the open as they only have that one archer just cheeseman as I said damn pushing up here very interesting back to basics and alpha the two infantry of uh, DM trying to hold them off a little bit but uh, they are actually succeeding pretty well uh, the fight has gone over here in this place and cheeseman is moving up to that tree Delta spotted him and is gonna harass him a little bit no he leaves him alone Todd saying in a very nice position and if Cheeseman spots him he's probably gonna die. Them and uh, DM like pushing it back and forth at the moment as they are <laughs> swapping over kills the whole time. Cheeseman finally spotted Todd Single but Todd Single's already done his job as the fight is not there anymore. And so Cheeseman trying to stay alive here but Todd Single spotted him as well. And uh, I feel that Cheeseman has to move to a different place. Ooh, very, very nice shot. That was in the forest right there from Todd Single. And uh, Veril here fighting with Delta as Veril's trying to hold on for some backup, which is coming right now. But gets shot down by Todd Single's bolt. And now they have three ground force on uh, the DM side. I wonder where the third one is though. Oh, going to the flag as I can see on my minimap. Uh, which might eventually make none of these fights here. Uh, like It makes this void as if they win on the flag right now, they win the whole thing. See some nice duels between Slow and Delta here. And it looks like DM has claimed it. So if they raise the flag high enough, and if Slur can survive for long enough, so Delta can't get there anymore, which is the case, DM has actually won this one. And Slur does get the kill as well, so that's a bonus. Um, I have to say, very well played from that one person that went to the flag at. Uh, um, Sadly to report that I don't really know who it was. I'll check my own stream as I have that possibility. And I can say the name out loud. It was... Oh, the live button is blocking the name. <laughs> Can't really say it. Um, hold on, maybe I can recognize a face. Veril, I believe. It was. No, it wasn't. It was Cheeseman who actually won that round, or uh, DM right there. So, Cheeseman, well played. Definitely. I, I like the move that he risked into going to that very skinny tree just to help out his teammates. That was um that was all team play, that was not in his personal interest to be there, but he did it anyway. And he did it for the flag. <laughs> um so somebody talking to me on on uh, Twitch that is in my class. That's something I did in school. Which I actually didn't do. Anyway, back to the game. Um, DM taking away two rounds right now. And such weird tactics going on. As, um, well, it's not what I'm used to. Usually, if you're in on the inside, you would set up like a small crossfire. But uh, DMs kind of look at it differently. 
they look at map position instead and they had uh, like boxed in them on that flag right there on this left side which is a quarter of the map so it looked good in theory but the flag has spawned in dam's favor that is uh, not good for them um, DM Leonor strongest going in with a couch straight into that whole pack and uh, because them is so close to each other they can actually make the difference as you can see on the screen getting those kills uh, cheese man has to make some sh hits count right now as he will make the difference or not for DM uh, but being pressured right now to go to infantry He's not going to be standing for a long time, I believe. Yellow taking down slow here, and Junkie on the flag. That was a nice, uh, nice move right there. And uh, Cheeseman just fighting it off, and Leonor should probably help him, but I don't think there's much he could have done. Like uh, the whole, the whole tactic of them staying on the left side and just having that small chance of luck which uh, worked in their favor has worked out and just not much you could do as they were uh, bulking up or turtling how I like to call it nowadays and um, this one seems to go to them and uh, Leonu, let me check his name again. Leonu, most strongest, is gonna save his horse uh, for the money so he can upgrade and do better next round. As we go into the last round of this set, uh, Renek and Nero, who are also on the side with me, uh, are talking business. There's a betting corner on Tailwilds. Had a um, Captain Lust set up. It's uh, it's an illegal shack, and uh, you can like win virtual money <laughs> playing on the right teams. And I believe they're discussing that the whole time. Damn, doing their bold tactics again about taking one corner, or uh, one fourth of the map, and uh, they're going with the right side this time because the flag has spawned on the left side enough. Uh, DM this time setting up for a crossfire as they have all ruins on the inside and with the inside I mean these walls right here these broken walls that used to be a castle or something or a village maybe um, so if they pass it they go on the inside of it DM adapting which I like, like to see in teams is that they see that uh, them people are going to the right side so they go to the left side they just keep on rotating until the flag spawns so now they both have half of the map and uh, they're both hoping for it that it's gonna be on their side And it's ten, 10 seconds left until the flag spawns. Eltran trying to do something, but you got a Serenet horse against Swadia, so it's not the best of luck. And uh, manages to get away out of it. And Tudu making it a team hit, even, so Eltran very, very lucky here. The flag has spawned in the middle, and this is cool to see because they both had a side of the map. So technically they were uh, both equally in advantage but because that one drop out DM has to do it with a player less um, they are down with a few members but that doesn't mean anything until uh, people start fighting at the flag and that's when it start counting which is back to basic engaging right now And wow, Todd Singel with a very, very nice shot on that horse Eltron right there. He was moving full speed and turning at the same time. 
getting his horse down as well. And if he can get another shot. No, he doesn't. And uh, DM having Cheeseman way back there fighting. But uh, it's not gonna be enough. They. They were very unlucky with that uh, person L4, I believe it was disconnecting. And Gnork takes that kill. As it is 2 2 right now. And for uh, what is considered to be a low level match, I really like this. It's, it's coming together and. Uh, I believe that both teams are adjusting and doing like risky things. That will, that is what this tournament is about. Because um, now that the divisions are gone, you have to step it up with the top teams, and uh, it's what top teams do as well. Like they know the basics, but um, they just I don't know. You like to do like weird weird setups and weird strategies so that the enemy can't counter it or has never experienced such a thing. It'll be a two minute break for me and um, while I do so I will put on some music for you guys.
All right, guys. Um, looks like it's gonna be a restart in life. Let me just set up the score before I bring up the screen. And there we go. That should be it. Um, so DM on the outside now, and they have gone with three archers, four cav, and one infantry. As attackers, uh, I would agree this is a pretty, pretty good choice. And um, on the inside, we have them with three infantry, three cav, and two archers. I would say it's uh, it's one infantry too much, but I, I like yeah. I would say three archers would actually be better for a uh, dam. But you play with the players you have, and uh, this is what they show up with today. And uh, they have proven to do some crazy stuff already. So pretty keen to see what they are up to. Veril coming in to scout a little bit, but he went in too deep, and Leonamo trying to support him, but he goes away with him. As uh, he's probably gonna shout in team speak right now for him going in way too fast, way too early. Um, I was informed that. A lot of these guys actually have Pokemon names on the DM side. Uh, I've, I've only played like till the first hundred, well, which was a hundred and one with Mew. Um, but I don't know. A lot of them apparently have Pokemon names. So, and uh, it was uh, Stalos was Telex in English apparently for the lovers out there. I wanted to know. The flag has spawned in the middle and everyone's engaging. At least I think so. DM is kind of lacking behind uh, on the calf as the calf went in first, which is a big no no in, uh, in this game. As um, DM guys still not going towards the flag and just getting shot down one by one. Slow, making different stuff, getting down their archer. And uh, we're seeing some kills coming back and forth again. And I'm trying to keep an eye on all of them. As Larkon and Back to Basics are just shooting bats on the left side here of my screen. <laughs> and uh, Alphor has to do it against four of them. But uh, of course that's not realistic. Back to Basics holding out a little bit. And it uh, looks like... Sultanates have won this one. He's trying to survive for the army, and he did. DM complaining about like, and I've been noticing it. I'll show you guys the screen right here. Uh, yep, there we go. On the on the dam side, you got an average of well, let's say 35 ping, and meanwhile on DM side, you got. Oh, Alphor going sky high right there for a second, but their average is usually around 70. So that is double the lag, double the delay of the visuals they see on their screen. As, um, Dem has a pretty damn good internet, I would say. But both of them, being Germans, kind of surprises me that they have such a, a lag, like a ping difference. And um, them setting up middle ruin, as you can see on the minimap. And they have uh, the left side here, or their side if you're looking this way. Um, Doo Doo getting very close, but he's got support of Knork. So he can do what he does. Cheeseman being very hit already. He has uh, little to no health left, and I think. Meister Dodo is the one responsible of it. 
They're hoping for a flag on the left side and damn, uh, sorry, DM. I have already the left side and pretty much the middle as well. So they both once again have like half of a map in control. And, oh, great. <laughs> when they both have a half of the map, I love to see that it's in the middle because then it's, then it's when you see the actual team play going on as they are both evenly close to get on the flag a uh, very early kill here from Alphor which is gonna be the difference if they work together which they seem to do the calf of TM coming in very very solid as they help out each other and Alphor trying to take down what he can with a two-handed sword which is pretty unusual to have in these matches because that reason right there, Gnork taking him down. And <laughs> I only read half of the post there, but there's an anti Pokemon uh, threat going on in the chat. DM having the flag, and damn, only with two left, which is Gnork. And let me try to search the other one in the studio right there. bashing on the Pokemons. Ooh, back to basic if he had that shot that was free kill pretty much and then he missed that kick. Uh, his body is backing out because he wants to save the armor but it's 30 seconds left so if all the calf go on him. Oh this is just uh, not nice uh, as he could not do anything. Are the calf gonna chase him or are they gonna save the horses? Larkin wants to kill, he's coming in. Back to basics is following him. These arrows flying by Knork is are actually really close. Oh he's got it two-handed as well! <laughs> oh that's some solid fighting right there. Oh I, I see it's not a two-handed, it's a bastard sword we can fight one handed and like if you put away a shield you get a two handed fight modus. But they're very very slow as one handed in my opinion. Um, do a lot of damage though. They're like the most balanced swords. That's why like uh, I think um, Lust explained it as uh, it was supposed to be Back in the days, a bastard sword was the name for it as well, and it was supposed to be a um, one-handed sword. But because of the huge hilt and everything, people started using it as a two-handed. And I think that's the history of on it, pretty much. I was never a guy for museums and all that, so I never pay attention to that. But um, it has its reasons, and it's supposed to be like the balance of everything, of speed, damage, range, one-handed, two-handed, everything. In this game it's pretty slow, I wouldn't take it personally, as a one-handed. It's 3-3. Three, three. Um, Turtle and these guys match up pretty damn well to each other. Or pretty DM well. However you want to see it. I love th that they have um, like a support infantry with the archer. I always like to see that. Gives you like a warm feeling inside if you're that archer. Just know that he's gonna help you out. Some uh, shots are being made. Cheeseman's been already been hit. I hear some horses took some shots as well, and uh, Master Duder has already been hit as well. And the flag has spawned in the favor of DM, so I'm not in the middle anymore. And now it's going to be a rush. Back to basics. Not getting the memo to go pull back and go on the flag as he stays on the archway. And DM coming from the right side here. But back to basics. Who was staying behind got Master Duder, who was an archer as well. And he's holding up pretty well by himself. 
Meanwhile, Alphor is raising the flag and Dam is coming from the other side because uh, the flank tactic of the right side has failed upon them. They need to stay together and Yellow and Junkie uh, kind of get that message. So the fight is happening right here where it actually should be on the flag. But um, that is no, of no concern for DM as they were surviving there pretty well. Uh, damn, sorry. Ooh, that is very nice from Leon our strongest. And whoever was on the flag, I oh, know Alpha was there and they're still there. Gets bumped down though, and now the real fight between the infantry starts. But it gets taken down very fast here by Eltron. Yellow should go towards the flag if, uh, if he wants to be a better impact for the team. Bower Boulder has been playing amazingly on public today, uh, trying to help out his buddy. But there's not much he, he could do, and DM takes this one. I feel they got it um, because the flag spawned on their side, and I would dare to say that these teams are pretty damn equal. And they are, it just depends on the flag spawn really so far. And uh, look at Dam's roster right now. They've gone with five infantry and four and three calf. Meaning that they're gonna be ultra aggressive. It's just gonna push in, and as you can see on the mini map, they're forming a little train. And that train is rolling towards Eltron without him even knowing. He spots this, and off he is. <laughs> There's one calf from Dam on the mini map going all the other, all the way to the other side, and Dam backing off. The train has reversed and they have absolutely no advantage being where they are right now. None at all. There's there's no flag they can get or anything. If I was if I were them, I would go to the, the middle of middle of ruin at least. I mean we're behind it, that's a little closer to all three flags, but right now they're just gambling on the right flag for them. But without them knowing back basics already looking out for a shot here and his troops uh kinda mid left area because everything on the right you see on the mini map for DM is Arcav. Nork already practicing his swings right there and flag spawns and seven seconds. Cheeseman and back to basics getting some nice shots already. Swaps being made for javelins and they push out. The flag is there again. This is these flags so far have been the most interesting spawns they possibly could. As uh, the whole train of the dam moving up here and back to basics, still trying to get some shots off. <laughs> but he has to realize this this is going to turn out to be very, very bad for him. Feral trying to save his buddy again. He's been supporting his buddy so many time here, uh, times here. But has cost his life already many times as well. It's back to basics, turns around the corner and gets that kill on Chunky and now he's behind them. He can shoot whatever he wants because the dam is only looking to go out one direction and that is the flag. So it's not looking good for dam as their train kinda got halved already before they got there. Um, fights are still happening, and Alphor fighting with that two-handed weapon, just swinging about. It's just Dudu and Delta left here. Delta gets taken down by Cheeseman, who's in the background right there. Cheeseman looking for that other shot, but uh, he goes down to Alphor, who's swinging about like a madman. And uh, Turtle right now brings us to a 5-3 for DM.
um, like usual a little break here and it's gonna be a map change for the next set this was the open map and next map is supposed to be a closed one so that is a whole different mindset of how they engage flags or how they push or anything as it's way more closed corners and uh, I, w I will love to see that dam is actually better in closed corners so that they would uh, jump up that score a little bit for now the score is 5-3 for DM which I will change in a second and I will give you a music session once again until we go live Alright guys, very very fast break right there, and it looks like we are live again. Let me just set up as I usually do. So give me one second, and um, here you are, live it is. Um, no, live it is not. I'm sorry. Let me let me put it back to full screen. <laughs> Um, so apparently there's a third or three that has jumped in like last set of uh, of the match so far called Rapez and um, he's coming in because he's one of those betters as well and uh, he wants to make some wants to make a buck or two and there's also a thing going on between the referees on this match that um, they have to wear a name tag chosen by the other two if uh, if they lose, if they pick the wrong team, so a lot of interest in this match for different reasons.
um, looks like they have announced they're pretty, uh, pretty fast about going live while the other team was actually not ready yet. So, still not ready. And, uh, for the people that enjoyed that song, I'm sorry to cut it off. I will say it to you, Tara. That was a song called Journey's End by a good man called Black Mill, or a band, if you can call it that. <laughs> a nice comment coming in right here. As uh, Gnork, who's playing for Dam, Dam has been the ones that were ready like five minutes ago. And uh, Gnork saying that. Like, you have to buy some strategy book from Amazon or what? Let's go live. In reply, Cheeseman from DM saying, Amazon not accepting our credit cards. Just hold on a little bit. Fun conversations. And uh, both teams looking to be very, very joyful at that. Uh, Spiritful team, so if you are German, uh, no matter where from, like I hear a lot of them are from Austria, but German is German apparently, and if you are German, then I would advise to you to look into one of these teams, as they, they both know what they're doing, they both play it well, they have skill, and uh, they have a sense of humor, which is really important. Um, so it is life? No, it is not life. Ah, uh, okay. Crap. We're gonna go for a restart again. So far, I'm not looking... I'm not seeing any swaps being made from the benchers. Um, so let's see, DM has 3 infantry, 2 calf, and 3 archers as Swadia. I would have gone with an infantry more, but sure. Once again, if that's players you have, and if that's the team chemistry to play with, then by all means. Because the infantry, uh, the archers, if they can pick up a free sort from the infantry or calf, then they're as good as infantry. Uh, a little weaker on damage output, but if you play it right, still could be very good. Uh, Dam looking to be very, very aggressive again, as they have six infantry, one cav, one archer. Todd Single is not the, the archer this time; it's Dudu. Uh, I believe Todd Single was the one uh, performing the last ramp. Dudu has made some solid shots as well. Support, not with the kills, but support-wise, definitely. Uh, and Vini, Vini Pur, is that? Vini Pur is the calf from them. Them, um, doing something I've never seen before, but now I see them do it. It makes a lot of sense. They're on this, this little corner, so this is a very, very tight corner. And as Nords, you want to play tight, and uh, so they're forcing this well. If they go through it right here, um. Swedia will have trouble. Also, the flag spawns right here potentially and behind them, so they have two flags. So they got everything right, but I've never seen it. I'm astonished. This is planned out. This is perfectly planned out, and it's all good. I'm trying to push off the archer, uh, Larkin, right here, who is in the back ruin. And uh, that gave away a perfect position that they had. As the flag does spawn behind them, but it's not to their advantage anymore. I decided all to go in this back room and kill Larkin first, giving DM the flag though. Maybe playing it so that they have more troops is an advantage. As uh, Ashiko, oh, who, he's a, uh, a person that just came in from last round and didn't play. Back to basics, making that shot that I did not notice yet. 
Uh, that is my bad, sorry. Delta holding on here, but Larkin on this side fighting Gnork and Gnork gets that kill. Um, switching through all the people, Delta's staying alive for so good. And now the dam are up with two players. One player, sorry. And uh, they are ready to push. They're gonna get back to basics as he's been a threat and um, creating those crossfires out of nowhere. And now staying behind him. Ultron coming in, but he misses that hit. And he gets stopped right there, which is not a good thing. Slow gets taken down as well. And Feral takes down Delta, who's been surviving for the time that Dam needed to catch up with them. So he's the hero of this round if Dam wins for sure. Uh, Cheeseman, he cannot shoot because he's put under pressure. Feral taking down a second Dam right here, uh, which is Knork, and he goes in. And now the fight is at the flag as nobody else is around it. But Dam, um, I'm sorry, DM getting it purely because they were earlier on the flag. That is the only reason, but I believe that Dam played it much, much better this round, despite uh, losing the flag. And uh, I hope to see the same, as they are going to do the same, and hopefully Dam has in mind this time that they have to go a little earlier to the flag as uh, Delta has one or Stalos I don't know what he's playing as wanted to have this before on the bridge you can see DM's moving and they're gonna take this right here Dam moving in without hesitation they're going in right now the calf from uh, DM standing in the background there looking to go in and the fight has started that DM calf need to come in right now else Dam is gonna win this Slow comes in and he gets that kill very very good of him Eltron comes in but gets stopped by Slow oh no Slow bumping into the wall right there and fights are just happening one on one as they're pretty spread out here calf trying to do as much as they can helping out the people that are on the ground but as you can see the fights uh, are going back and forth the whole time and the calf are just going uh, and from left to right and all over the place. The caffeine poo has been stopped, but none of the advantage has been taken right there. Balder is still surviving, as he's been in there like one of the first infantries on the lineup. Gets taken down by back to basics. Caffeine poo coming behind him and getting lemon strong. And Damn, not looking good as they only have Vini Poo alive. And he gets a hit though, but gets one back. It's a Caffy Calf, and back to basics. Realizes a little too late that the Calf was coming, and this is bad communication from DM because they could have prevented this. If he gets slowed down, it's a one on one, and it's an official, like, they can make it. Feeny Poo still has jabs. Ooh, Feeny Poo really, really making a difference. So he has to play ultra defensive, though. And he starts to use it, but he misses his first, misses his second, misses his third as well as it hit the shield. That was very cleverly done from Elchan to go for that fl uh, shield there. Gets hit, and if he takes down Elchan or Slur, which he should, but he still has a minute, so this is all about defensive. Get his horse! Ah, oh, it's so close. The jabs are so damn close. <gasps> no! Oh no! He gets stopped, and Eltron saw that and abused it straight away as I uh, took down Vinny Pur, making a second win for this set to DM. Are the DM gonna swap things up? No, uh, they're sticking with the same thing because they believe that they can actually win the infantry fights. 
And uh, I believe as well when Nords charge you in a whole big group, it's kind of scary. Especially Knorik, because look at his face. How can you not be scared of that? Um, Alti Ferrim in my chat saying hi. I'm saying hi back to you. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, Lefter of Midas saying Amk Sinin Altai. Whatever that means. I know for a fact it's not German. Maybe it's Pokemon speak. Alright, both sides decided to set up. I like this setup, what Dan does. I've never thought of it, but now that I've seen it in practice, I mean, this is a good, good setup. And uh, DM on the other side here. Ooh, showing a little bit too much right there for Mashika. But uh, they are waiting for the flag to be here again. In, or has it spawned here yet? I'm not sure. No, it hasn't. It's been in the field twice. I have a, a sneeze coming up, but it's not coming like, I'm like blurry in my eyes right now, so bear with me guys. Um, flag's about to spawn, and this will decide everything. The flag spawns in the ruins, which is big, big favor for them. But them is the Nord's aggressive side, and they only have infantry except from Dudu and Vini Poo. So they are gonna be doing a shield wall. Dudu should be getting up that ruin right here, which is available for him. But uh, back to basics here flanking again. And Dam taking down two people already. Larkin and basics just shooting from the left side. And Dot Single spots this and he wants to go after him. But they notice that there's just too many. Delta, come back, you're out alone. And uh, they're abandoning the, fla the flag except for Gnork. Ooh, Chunky coming up with the overhead. And uh, Elchon missing everything right there. Dam is just rolling it in the bag at the moment. Elchon going in for another hit. But he doesn't get the chance as Todd Single is holding him off. Bauer holding him off. And Junkie needs to stop it, but he doesn't. And uh, Nords have one, but they've dismounted it and killed him. That is perfect. That is exactly what they wanted. Because if that war horse stayed alive, it would have had a really rough time to go to the next round. And uh, it's a really tough horse to take down once you have that one, or even the greater one. Um, some chaps here left behind, and let's see who's not done his job picking it up. Yellow, spot it. Oh, he looks serious enough, does he? Doesn't need those chaps. Um, TM. So this is a horse that Eltron had before, but he's probably got enough money to buy it again. And uh, DM still um, same setup. Why not? It's one of them two rounds. And damn, still the same setup. It's one of them the last round. But, uh. Larkon looking through his window, trying to get that shot. And if you can see if I'm fast enough. Uh, no, no. Delta style of scouting a little bit, but Cap should be scouting, which they don't have. It's getting in a little too deep for um, comfort as the other dams are setting up right here. So if he gets pushed, he's screwed. And uh, I noticed on my mini map that Slur has spotted him. And now Delta is falling back, which is good. Dude, dude, you're looking around the corner for a shot, and he sees that. Um, Somebody else, I think it was Larkon that popped around that corner. It's shooting him back. It's just a waiting game, and they wait for two minutes, and then they get a flag. Dude, he's spotting back to basics.
but sadly it doesn't get a hit. Flag spawns in favor of them, and let's see how DM will handle it. Uh, sorry, in favor of DM, and let's see how DM handles it. How else than a big train of pushing? <laughs> Thought Single doing great job holding back the, the calf behind right there. They need to go in as a group because this is the distance that they have. And right now it's good. DM uh, Cheeseman taking a very, very nice shot on Thought Single who's watching a calf behind. And uh, the fight has broken open as Bauer is fighting right there on Leo Monster. But he needs to watch out for that crossbow. And he goes towards him. It's a bump, and uh, calves are doing a good, good job right here. Vini Nipur, Eltron getting taken down by that calf. Slow by this calf. Uh, Chunky, sorry, getting bumped by Slur. Vini Pur bumping him again. Eltron getting the other one on the other side, and it's all calf. While them setup is infantry based, so. I'm getting questions about their infantry. Bauer is still doing as best he can. Uh, he is waiting for that calf to come in. He's gotten so many hits so far. And uh, Vini Pu as well, he's been, he's been a great asset to the damn team. But um, sadly enough, it looks like Vini Pu once again has to outride it the whole time because your infantry weren't alive for long enough. Uh, back to basics left the game. It's not good. Hmm. Vini Pu. Oh, I, I don't know why I wasn't uh, streaming him. <laughs> I was thinking a little bit. Sorry for missing that kill, guys. But um, total score so far is 8-4. As uh, DM has already secured a, oops, sorry, already secured a draw. So if um, if them pushes it back with four kills, uh, four rounds, they can get that draw. And according to the rules. It's always been said that they have to do another map, uh, Winterberg, as a draw map, first to three. But I have streamed a couple of uh, draws so far, and uh, no of the teams actually respected it or read the rules. So, with three referees, I'll, I'll be uh, be looking at what will happen. Meanwhile, I'll play you guys some music, and uh, also like to update you if you're watching my stream. That Agancor um, won 9 7 against the Kingdom of Swadia, which is a really, really good team. So, congratulations, Agancor, and I uh, hope both teams do well for next week. Here's some music.
into drum and bass, that was Metric with a song called Inner Child. But we have gone live again, and uh, with that, I have to change the score once again before I give you the live view, which is now. Um, a lot of infantry, as you can see. Those green shields mean that there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of scrimming going on. And uh, they are fighting it for the draw, at least Dam is. DM are fighting it for the win, as they only need one more round to secure it. Um, Dam, this time going with 5 infantry, uh, 2 hatches and 1 calf. And um, they have played a, a lot as infantry. Even, well with Nords it's normal, but with... Uh, the open map as well, I've always had like more and more infantry than I'm used to, myself. And uh, DM, realizing they have the Norse faction and adjusting it well, giving it a 5 archers, uh, sorry, 5 infantry, 2 archers to put out that crossfire if they need to do so, and Slur, who is a calf somewhere on this map. Let me try to find him. Right here. This is the calf face, and uh, he's ready. On, he's on standby for whenever something happens. Them decided not to do anything as they stayed at in the spawn from them actually, and they are very very far away. If the flag spawns right there behind that building, but it spawns right here where Slow is, so Slow should go to that flag and actually dismount to raise it a little bit. But uh decides to check out and scout a little bit, which is equally valuable. Vini Poo coming in here. Spotting back to basics is not an archer anymore. And um Damn already are here. Faster than I thought there would be, and the fight is gonna happen on the flag right now. Uh, Delta, Stylos, gets a kill already. And uh, there's a fight going up on in there as well. As uh, Dem tries to claim the top ruin, but Larkon not giving it to him. Beryl trying to hold out. Ooh. <laughs> that was a nice jab. And we know that Feral can hold out. Dam is rolling it in right now. Ooh, nice bump from Vini, but not in time for the stun from Yellow. And this is how Dam gets their first round. Which is pretty weird, because uh, Nords are actually the ones that are supposed to win on infantry fights, as they have the access to break the shields. So this means that the infantry of... DM are not swinging enough and rather blocking too much or either gapping open uh, for a hit or them is just better at switching around during melee fights that are close combat. One of those three I'll try to keep track of uh, the next fight if it happens on the same position again. Meanwhile, um, same setup both teams. 5 inf, uh, 2 arches, 1 calf. And um, Ulti Yifrim saying uh, what map is it? It's uh, called Mountain Fortress. And uh, stating an opinion that he doesn't like this map too much. As he's a veteran player, like a really... Uh, player that played in the past and just came back to the scene, I guess. And uh, I'm the opposite. <laughs> I'm a new player. <laughs> uh, I've only started playing this year. And uh, I've always known this map as it is. Well, not as it is, it had a closed wall right there. Where you can see this gap right here, it was just a wall like, like right this. And uh, you always had to walk around to get to the inside. 
but I like the change because it puts way more dynamic to the game. For example, a little cheat that archers can use that not, not many know is that if you're arching from here, you go up on the bridge right there, you can snipe all the way to here. Here on Feral, you wouldn't even know where it came from. Um, the flag has spawned right here, and they're both racing to it. So this is gonna be a scrim of a lifetime. As a DM is there a little first, and they push out slightly for Dam, and Dam needs to engage immediately. They don't need to hesitate. Fiend Pur, dangerous calf, and he already has that uh, high-end horse that is good for bumping. And Dem's fighting out in the wrong place as they need to be fighting under the flag, which DM is controlling. But back to basics, um, decides to go for, to help his buddies, but Feeny Pur gets that kill. Feeny actually really, really doing a good job for the for resources he has. Ooh, no, it gets stuck. And uh, gets away with it. He needs a shield tower. Tries to harass Vaporeon. Gnork finally goes down after a long, long fight. And uh, that was a good stab from Feral right there as he took down Feeny Poo and secured the DM win, which is, um, it's the first round. Like, the, the whole score system is like 16 rounds. And uh, this means that a draw is 8 8, so each team having half of it. Once you hit 9, the other team only can get 7, so once you hit 9 you actually know that you won already. And uh, so does DM at the moment, and um, round difference does make a well a difference in this tournament. I don't know how or why or how, how it works exactly, but it does. And uh, it does on picking the enemy team, and it does eventually on the last results, I believe. So you want to get as many rounds even if you know that you've lost. Slow waiting a little bit. And DM doing an early push as the flag only spawns at 2 minutes, but they already charge a little bit at um, 3 minutes. Ooh, slow risking a lot right there by going in. And though it's surprising if he gets away with it. He does. He gets a nice bump right there. And Feeny Nipu up here taking down Larkin. And they're fighting right here in a uh, choke point, as I like to call it. As it is a one on one right here, Cheeseman gets that kill. But damn, looking a little stronger at the moment. Cheeseman in trouble, he's not gonna make it. As he has two infantry on him. Ooh, nice shot right there from Duder. The uh, Leo Master takes down Totten single. And, um,. Uh, Damn, which it was looking very promising, <laughs> are losing their fighters. Vaporeon try and still do some shots, and uh, Leon's strongest, Leonimo's strongest, sorry. I feel that's a Pokemon as well. Um, but anyway. <laughs> oh wow, uh, Vini Nipu takes down one of them halving their forces and just he's out for bump slashes that's it Ooh, Leonimo jumps over a horse who the hell can jump over a horse <laughs> that, that is crazy he slashed him like while he was going over it and let's see some uh, one on one fights as the other person um, Dudu is going to the flag to raise a little bit. If Delta can hold out as long as 20 more seconds, I believe that they won this round.
Oh, Stalos had some solid blocking and he was playing defensive the whole time. And then all out of nowhere, he just started being aggressive, giving two hits, and the second one got that kill on him. So that was a, a mind teaser, and uh, that's really hard to do if somebody duels for 20 seconds and then completely changes style out of nowhere. It's really hard to adapt. So, I hope I never face style of belt on public, because... What he's shown right there is a skill that I don't have. Finny Pur just uh, chasing off the threats or the scouter. And he's, he's really doing his job, like, he's scouting a little bit and Watching out if nobody's flanking and just feeding information the whole time. Them standing behind this rock here with five of them, and as you can see, uh, Stalos is pimped out to the bone. It's again a tactic I've never ever heard of. There's one in back ruin here, and that is Todd and Single, and he is taking some shots towards the, the middle part of that alley. Some people shoot in third person, and as you can see on my screen, that is just, I don't get that. I always shoot in first person when it's long ranged. Uh, getting a request then to look at Lear. Didn't see anything special about him. Maybe I saw it too late. Uh, yeah. Uh, another thing on my speak that is saying uh, your, your uh, sound is coming a little late. Um, I hope it's not with my stream. Or too tired. Uh, I am tired. <laughs> but I hope it's. I hope you mean late. And if it is late. I put a delay on uh, on my stream, so I hope the sound does synchronize with the animation. And if not, I'll have to look in those settings, so thanks for telling me that. But I cannot change anything for it right now. Um, them rushing in there, and they just want to conquer that flag. Vini de Peru, man, what, what a boss he's just bumping and killing everyone as he gets the last player right there total score is now 9-7 and this is very well played from both teams uh, if they had to replay this match I honestly could not say who would win um, from what I've seen from both sides absolute top class like I I don't even get why these why these guys are not um, why why nobody actually talks that much about them because I had a lot of requests about other clan matches that I could stream tonight and uh, I didn't because I wanted to get these to learn about these guys a little bit more and I have and wow I have to say congratulations to every single person that played today. Because uh, you guys played rock solid, and if you see my other streams, I, I don't give out compliments that fast. I usually uh, pick pick out some people and uh, trash them about them, smack talk about them. But um, not every single person that was in here tonight. Congratulations! I mean, you fought well, you did well, and uh, luckily for DM, unluckily for them, you guys. Um, I mean, good job, that's all I can say. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Once again, I give out my complimentary uh, to Captain Lust, who is the host of MBTV, linked in my stream, uh, in my Twitch, sorry. And uh, he has been doing this for way longer than I have, so if you're interested in these battles, check him out for sure. 
and uh, Chris for making the design of the pause screen right here. Uh, the blue editing right there is it's my input. That's the quality I go for. <laughs> I know it doesn't fit, but it's all I have as resources. So. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. And uh, if you're recruiting or scouting for players, um, try to make a deal with the captains of both teams here. <laughs> Alright, good night to everyone.